Hi everyone and welcome to my very first video on Rules Kitchen. Today we are going to make a beautiful chocolate chip cookie. Put your apron on and let's get started. So the first things we're going to do is to mix our both chocolate milk and dark. And then let's blend it. Let's take a look. Okay, I think a little bit more. Voilà. Alors. Then we're going to take our chocolate chips and put them on the side. All right, so now we have our um, uh, milk uh, and dark chocolate that are mixed together in a form of a little uh, chocolate chips. Um, now is uh, time to start to do the butter. So we're going to add the butter and both sugar together. So we start with the butter. The butter must be soft. Then we add our sugar. And then I like to use sugar in a raw. And the reason why is because I am going to uh, obtain a really crunchy um, texture when I'm going to bite into my cookie. So that's the reason why I'm using two different kinds of sugar. So we put the sugar together with the butter. And then we're going to start mixing. we're going to add our vanilla paste to the butter. And finally, our eggs. Once my eggs are well combined, I will add my flour mixed with the baking powder and the salt. So be careful when you add your flour um, to mix on a really slow speed because I saw a lot of uh, bakers in, uh, in the kitchens put the mixer all the way up and then you're gonna have like a flour that's going all over the, your kitchen. So just add your flour and go progressively. So once the flour is uh, well combined um, with all the ingredients, it's time for you to add the chocolate chips. Mm, that looks good. And then, I'm sure you do that at home too. You gotta try what you do. Mmm. All right. Let's, let's scoop the cookie. All 
Voilà. So now we're going to uh, sell up our uh, sheet tray. So uh, today I'm going to use uh, um, a parchment paper. Um, you can use a seal pad, you can use a seal pen, you can use so many different things. Today I prefer to use what I have in the house, which is a parchment paper. So I already uh, pre-cut uh, um, a piece of uh, uh, parchment paper over here and I have my sheet pen. I like to put a little bit of grease on the tray to stick the parchment paper so it doesn't fly away when we put it in the oven. Okay, a little bit of spray. And then we put our parchment paper on the sheet pens. So I'm scooping my cookie. So when I have my cookie on my sheet pens, I'm going to um, flat them up a little bit and try to keep uh, the round shape as much as I can. Voilà. And then what I'm going to do with the leftover dough, I'm going to scoop them individually and place them in the freezer for next time. If you want to use them, you can make a big batch and whatever you're not going to eat today, then you can place them in a freezer for a couple of weeks. So now we're going to set our oven at 360 Fahrenheit. So, yeah, bake. And let's set the timer at 10 minutes. This recipe will make about 24 cookies. So we're going to add five minutes on our timer. Okay, the cookies are baked. Look at this. Mm, I'm going to turn off the oven. All right. Mm, look at those beautiful cookies. Look at this beautiful cookie. I love it. So here it is. We have a final product. Those beautiful chocolate chip cookie. And you know what? I cannot wait. Let's try it. Mm. You see, I was talking about the crunchiness from the sugar in a row. The good thing about this recipe is that the sugar in a row is not completely dissolved and you really feel the crunchiness and it's also really soft on the same time. So it's almost like crunchy on the outside and soft in the inside. Just the way that I like eating my cookies. Mm. Do you want some, the cameraman? Enjoy. And this is it, everyone. If you have any questions, please leave them down in comment below. And if you like this video and you want to see more, don't forget to push the subscribe button and you will be notified each and every recipes. Au revoir and see you next time.